We start with the Bismarck Larks opening day, the first of 72 games to be played in Bismarck this summer. More importantly, fans getting a chance to be in attendance. The Larks becoming one of the first organizations in the country to have fans paying to be in the stands. Things look a little different at the ballpark to account for safety measures. And it's, it's a lot less than we're used to, right? We're used to sold out crowds here at 1,900 people, and, and this first week we're going to be at 500. But you know what? Just seeing one fan here, the smile on their face and getting ready for baseball. And these players, I mean, you've seen them. Uh, it looks amazing to have them in uniforms. When North Dakota reaches its next phase, ballpark capacity will be increased to 50%. So now let's get to the actual game of the night. Fans on their feet as they welcome the Larks and the Flicker Tails. A nice sight to see. BSC's Ryan Barassa with the honors of starting this one. More on him later. Larks with a runner on the corners. Trey Woolsey lofting one to center. This will score Mr. Lark White Ulrich. And Bismarck with the first run of the season. 1-0. Man in top of the second. Jack Krause rips one into right field. Colin Hopkins making an extended trip around the bases after a wild throw. Game tied at one. But Barassa gets the punch out to end the inning. Back and forth to this one. This one in the late innings right now, Bismarck just taking the lead 6-5. Let's take a look at some Babe Ruth scores from around the state over in Beulah. Velva paying a Cyclones a visit. 39ers win game one, 7-4. But Beulah comes back and wins game two, 8-1. Down the road in Hazen, the Astros sweep Stanley. Both games final at 12-2. And over in Burlington, Renville County takes game one, 12-6. Game two going on to Burlington, 9-8.